From taking advantage of outdoor offerings to maximizing hotel and meeting space, Great Falls Montana Tourism is looking to the future. And I was on hand as they unveiled their master plan this morning. Thriving business community brings business travelers here every Great Falls Montana Tourism says the travel and tourism industry has changed greatly since the COVID-19 pandemic. For more than a year, thanks to a grant from the city using American Recovery Act funding, the organization has worked with a consulting group to develop a plan to help maximize the area's tourism economy. And using their knowledge and history and research, they've put together a plan that says this is our best ideas of how you can move the travel economy forward in Great Falls. The firm shared some of their findings with stakeholders on Friday. Great Falls hits on all cylinders. It's a great destination for travelers with a great gateway airport, interstate highway access, halfway between two of the greatest national parks, riverfront city, cultural arts. Great Falls has it all. Ingham says, not surprisingly, the plan encourages enhancing destination development aspects, such as more access to the river and trail system, more kayak and bike rentals, and more boat tours along the river. She says the group has been working on some of the suggestions, like increased air service. And the plan is big on honing in on the city's meeting and convention component. Focusing on when we have the most availability and really focusing in on what we can bring to Great Falls in the times when we have most rooms available. Consultant Darren Rudloff used to be the tourism leader in Cheyenne, Wyoming, so he's familiar with the types of challenges Great Falls faces. He says executing the plan takes cooperation on several levels. It's not just the tourism organization, it's tourism working with economic development, working with the city, with the county, but there are a lot of similarities and if you just keep going at it, you can move the ball forward. The competitive nature of the travel industry presents the greatest challenge, according to Ingham, and she says that's not unique. She says another obstacle is the availability of the assets the city already has. The Montana Expo Park is full often, and the Heritage Inn is full often, and so finding those times and periods where we actually have space available and then finding the, white, the right type of meetings or conventions that can fit into those space uh, in a time frame that it all works out. The consultants told the crowd the plan is a living document and can be added to on a regular basis. Angam says the plans will be available on the Great Falls Tourism website. We have a link on our website. One person has died following a pursuit by law enforcement and a collision with a sheriff deputy's vehicle. According to the Broadwater County Sheriff's Office, the pursuit started around 3.15 Thursday afternoon on Highway 12 just north of Townsend. A deputy responding to assist with the pursuit activated his emergency lights when he saw the suspect's vehicle approaching. Broadwater County Sheriff Nick Rouser says the driver swerved towards the deputy's vehicle, resulting in a head-on collision. The deputy was treated for minor injuries and is expected to recover. The suspect in the other vehicle died on impact. The name of the deceased has not been released. The sheriff says he's thankful for the mutual aid and his thoughts go out to everyone impacted. You know, right now, I think we all need to just sit back and just be thankful that uh, the deputy is okay and, um, you know, and our thoughts go out to the family of the deceased individual and everyone else has just been affect, affected by this tragedy.